and welcome to Sparrow's World and today we're going to have a little look breeding dinosaurs. Now I happen to have two Quetzals behind me which I want to breed. Uh, a level 120 wild and a level 112. But this is going to work for anything that is egg breedable. So uh, anything that lays eggs, this process is going to work for. I will show you also how to do uh, animals which don't eat eggs as well. So here we go. We have our two Quetzals. and uh, I've got them in my little breeding room. Now, you don't have to have a breeding room, it's just what I have. You can do it out in your dino pen, do it whatever. But basically, we want to make a baby from these two high-level dinos. So, what do we have to do? Well, it's simple. We've got to get them to mate first. So, let's go over to the one. And we're going to... Uh, a little message will pop up there. You can see it says, Enable Wandering to Mate. So, Enable Wandering. That is the male. Enable Wandering. And that is the female. Now, you get a little heart that pops up. You see it just above there, uh, the, the food tray in the heart. Now you might hear me whistling. That is because I'm whistling you to stay in place or to hold still or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is basically so that they don't wander away while they're wandering. Uh, here we go, you can see the mating process is going up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is save you all from the horrific whistling. I can continue pressing the whistle button uh, until that mating bar has finished and we should see a little egg pop out. So, we'll be back in a second. Alright, so here we go guys. I've been pressing uh, you for a little while. The meat is about full, so any second we should have an egg. Oh, yep, there we go. Right, so we need to go and pick it up. Right, pick it up. There we go. And we'll show you what to do next. We'll uh, take everything off wandering first. So that it doesn't wander away. Right, so I've picked up the egg and you've got it here in the inventory. Here we have fertilized quetzal eggs. We see the parents, we see it's spoil timer, and we also have a little thing called egg health. Now, what we need to do with this egg is like any egg, like a chicken egg or anything that you want to hatch, you need to incubate it. So, how are we going to incubate it, you ask? Well, there are a number of ways. Um, depending on the dinosaur, depending on where you are in the world, the egg is either going to be too hot or too cold. Now, it's far too much information to go into right now about all the temperatures and everything, but there is a, I'll, I'll try and put a link, um, link down below to the wiki page which tells you all you need to know about it. But, if you've got air conditioners, then you're onto a winner. Now, air conditioners, here we are, I've got the S plus ones, but they work exactly the same. Uh, if you get eight conditioners in a group, it is going to fertilize, not fertilize, it's going to incubate any egg that you can possibly have. It'll cover all different temperature ranges. So, let's assume you've got those. We're going to get them up there. And now we're going to put the egg down. Please, please, please do not press use item. Because that will make you eat the egg. And it'll make you very mad. So don't do it. What you actually want to do is just drop it. Sounds crazy, but just drop it. Drop an egg. That's as simple as it is. Egg dropped. There we go. And here, we can see it is incubating so if you're too hot or too cold instead of incubating it will say too hot or too cold surprisingly um, and that little yellow bar is going to go down now it's a quetzal it takes a long time so it might be quite slow to start with you probably can't actually see it moving at all because it takes ages um, but it will go down I promise you the yellow bar goes down and the egg health will stay there as it is as long as it's not too hot or too cold so, there we go. All we need to do now, literally, is wait for that egg to incubate and we will hatch out a baby. So, your egg's taking a long time and you want to go and do some stuff. What can you do? Well, if you know roughly how long it's going to take, you can leave it here and it'll be fine. Um, there is an app, uh, app and a website, a great app and website, which will um, help you do that. The Dodo Dex, um, it's amazing. Check it out, have a look at it. It's great. Um, but anyway, say you now want to go off, go, go see some people, go to the pub, do whatever you need to do. So, I'm going to pick it up. So, I've got it here in my inventory. Egg health is still fine, spoils in, not a problem. I'm going to go and put it in a fridge. I'm going to put my egg in a fridge. There we go. Ready for when I come back from doing whatever I'm doing. Right, I'm back from doing whatever I'm doing. I'm going to take my egg. Here we go. And I'm just going to pop it down again. Uh, here we go. There we go. And it's down. And it is exactly how it was before. It hasn't lost any of its incubating 
or anything. It's great. Um, the eggs are great. I would highly recommend you doing them in, in batches. So basically let them get all the way down to the end, pick them up, store them in your fridge, um, ready for when you have time to hatch a load of dinosaurs. Because this takes a long time. This takes a long time. Now I'll get into it when uh, when the baby hatches, but um, when a baby hatches it needs food, and it needs so much food. So, while this is incubating, and you have some free time, go and get yourself some meat or berries, depending on which, which you're growing, if it's a herbivore or a carnivore. So go and do that, and then hopefully we'll be back, and uh, the baby will be able to hatch. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm back, I've got loads of meat, this egg is nearly done. Um, now, I just want to say, um, I'll get this out of the way, when this baby is born, you're going to see it's going to eat loads of meat. Now, I do have some rates pumped up on this server, so it's going to go far quicker than it should. Um, it's also going to eat more meat at the start, or hold more meat at the start than it should. Um, I just want you to make aware of that, because when a baby hatches, it only has um, was it 0.05 weight. So it's only going to be able to hold 5 meat to start with, or whatever the berries are. That's really important. You need to get this meat on this thing really fast and babysit it from the off um, luckily on my server I can get 50 meat onto it on the off so it's not too important but please for your server you need to sit there you need to sit there and, and pay attention to it unless you have the rates turned up it's really important otherwise your, your high level is going to die you know this high level thing bread is going to die so here we go any second this is going to hatch out now we could have one we could have two we could have three uh, Personally, at the moment, I'm kind of hoping for tri triplets. Um, it just means I don't have to do this again because these were 116 and 120, no, 112 and one, uh, 120 quetzals. So these are really high level quetzals. Uh, it'd be nice to get a, a good little triplets from this so I can have a, a, weight, a couple of weight quetzals and, um, and a speed quetzal. I like flying around pretty fast on a, on a quetzal. It's good. But here we go. Any minute now, this is going to hatch out. Oh wow, okay, cool. We got one Quetzal. So we're gonna imprint on it straight away, really important. And straight into its inventory, chuck the meat on it. See its weight is 0 0.5. Now normally, as I said, that would be um, five meat. I'm lucky, uh, my server's turned up, as I said, so he's eating. But you can see, he's eating four meat already. There's five meat. These things, uh, anything you hatch is gonna eat through food so quickly. You need to dedicate a lot of time to raising babies unless you have all your rates turned up. Um, first thing I do is disable wandering because that is a silly mechanic for a baby and I'm going to feed him. Now basically all you need to do, well that's a really high level quetzal, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah basically you need to sit here for a while. It's a baby quetzal, um, you're going to feed it, um, it replies to all babies, you need to feed it. Keep hand feeding it, it weight is going up as you can see so you can put more meat on it. You're looking for this weight to reach 10% of its overall weight here. So I need this Quetzal to get to 117. Once it reaches 117, it's no longer a baby. It is a juvenile, and it will happily feed from troughs, so you can leave it unattended. Now, again, there are apps and things which you can work out um, what you can do, because as this gets so high, you know, once it reaches, I'm going to say probably 70 weight, I can get enough meat on this um, to leave it with spoiling and with being consumed. I can leave it. I don't need to wait that full 10%, but please, 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 do your homework, double check, and see whatever it is. Um, like is. I'm confident here, this is 74. I can leave this for, for a good few minutes now and come back, and it's still going to be here, still going to be here alive. But again, I would always double check. If in doubt, don't leave it. Stay around your base, keep checking back on it. It's not the end of the world, just, just keep trying, making sure it's all good. Okay, so I've put a load more meat on it. Um, and now there's two things to go through. First of all, when you're breeding stuff, we can see here, wants care in 5236, or as I go now. So what does that mean? Basically, when that time runs out, the baby is going to demand something. So like a real baby, really. It's going to want feeding, it's going to want to play with, it's going to go for a walk, um, anything like that. Now, what this does is, you, you when it wants care, you put an imprinting stat on it. You can see imprinting here. So it's going to add a percentage. So we can get that up to 100%. Personally, 
personally, I have never imprinted anything 100%. On official servers, I think it's damn near impossible. Um, on unofficial servers, I don't see the point of it at the moment um, until I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with my high-level stuff. Like this baby Quetzal is great, 186, but I'm going to crossbreed it with something else to get better stats. Now, as far as I know and I'm aware, the imprinted stats do not pass on. They never used to unless there's been an update where they do. Please feel free to comment and, and let me know. Um, that I'm wrong because I'll be happily to be proved wrong because that's the case I'm going to imprint everything but to the best of my knowledge from what I've seen and what I've passed or what I've done it doesn't pass on so I personally don't imprint anything until I'm happy that it's the best I can get you know I've had level 225 rexes being born um, when when the wilds are 120s and um, that's when you imprint that's when you do give it a go when you're really happy you've got the top level but um, the whole imprinting thing yeah this is just the basics of how to breed dinosaurs. Now, as mentioned, this will go from baby um, to juvenile when it's 10%, and then when it's around 50%, uh, I think it's 60% actually, um, it's going to go to adolescent. So we know it's basically full, basically nearly fully grown, um, and it's going to eat at a slower rate as well until it becomes full adult, and it's going to eat at the same rate as any normal dinosaurs do. Now, you can see at the bottom my maturation progress, um, a tiny sliver of brown. Uh, it may be, if we're lucky, 1%. No, it's not even 1% yet. It's, it's what, what's that, 170? Uh, half a percent roughly um yeah half a percent so we're here for the long process um again on official servers i think on official servers a quetzal takes like eight days nine days to get to um, um adult uh, on this server it's going to take about a day and a half now i don't need to stand here for a day and a half because it's going to start feeding from these troughs soon just need to keep them topped up Okay, so that is essentially the basics of um, breeding uh, egg breeders. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in the background here and I'm just going to show you how to do um, mammals or ones which don't lay eggs. They have just easy for me to say gestation periods just like you know a human word or a horse or a dog anything like that they give birth to live young. So it is a bit different um, we'll go ahead and have a look at that now. Okay, so I've got my two non-egg-laying dinosaurs I want to breed. I'm going to breed some uh, dire wolves. So we have Dog and Derek. Um, nice names. Uh, yeah, amazing. Um, dog, female, and Derek, male. This is the exact same process as it is for the egg layers at the moment. We just want to basically get them to mate. So uh, go ahead and do that. And we're going to stand here and press U. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I put them in the cages behind? Which would be an amazing idea. But for some reason, it doesn't work. Uh, the cages seem to be bugged and they don't walk around in there. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to sit here and press the button for a while. And we will be back once they have mated. Turn away. Turn away. Don't look. Don't look. Right, so here we go. Um, it's just about to uh, be done. And uh, we're not going to get an egg this time. There we go. We'll see here. The female has now got a little gestation period meter. So it's very similar to an egg. Hang on, I'm just going to take them off Wanda. One second. Right, okay, there we go. Um, I'll take them off Wanda so we don't have to worry about that. Right, you see the uh, gestation progress here. It's going up. Now, this is exactly the same, really, as the egg incubating. The only difference is, obviously, I can't stick the dog in the fridge. So... When you do a mammal or anything with a gestation period, you're going to have to allow more time. It's not like the eggs, you can queue them up and do them whenever. Um, this is, is real. So once this, there's no way to stop this. Once it is mated, it is going to carry on and it is going to hatch whenever. Um, so just, or not hatch, be born whenever. So just, again, pay, in, you know, pay attention to the times it's going to take. You don't, want, um, you, you don't want your babies just dying and everything. It's, it's not good. So yeah, um, uh, this is going to take a little while, so again, um, I'm going to leave it for a bit and uh, we'll be back when the baby is ready to be born and just show you the process. Okay guys, so here we go, we're back and it looks like the baby is not far off hatching. Um, it even gets a nice little uh, little belly. There we are, look, to show you that it's, it's a bit pregnant. Oh, bless. Any minute now, squirt your baby out. Come on, ready... Where is it? Uh, there it is. It's stuck in you. Nice. Right, we need to get to it quick, um, like we did the others. So we imprint. Uh, no, we don't want that name. Uh, ooh, quick, quick, quick. And we want to put food on it pretty quick again. 
So here we go, you see how low its health was. So there we go, we've got our food on it. It's not a great level, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, for the purpose of videoing, we're gonna we're gonna keep this for a bit. And again, I'm gonna disable wandering. And we will unfollow. Okay guys, so yeah, the process from now on is exactly the same as um an egg egg bearer um, when the egg hatches. We just need to get the weight, um, so 10% of the overall weight and it will start feeding from a trough. Okay guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, we just need to make sure that these dinosaurs are all fed, these babies, and they will grow up into nice adults. Uh, that is it. That is as simple as breeding is. Now, we can go big in depth on how to breed for stats and all of that. There's plenty of other videos out there, um, out there about that. I may well do one of those in the near future, but at the moment, I just want to uh, just want to provide you with uh, the basics and, and how you can get on an arc. Um, again, thank you for all the support on the channel and um, our support on all the previous videos. Uh, if you do like the video, please leave a like and please subscribe for lots more arc content. Uh, and yeah, that's great. Thanks, guys. Have fun.